guys, morning YouTube, people, world, everywhere. Oh. First and foremost, thank you guys for subscribing. For those who have subscribed, thanks for the comments, even though they're little comments. I want to start off with this little AC thing right here, this compressor. I can't find bolts. I did find bolts. Um, I ordered some bolts. They come from China. And their expected delivery date is like December 31st, end of the year. Um, yeah, so uh, just wanted to update you guys on what I've been doing. Um, those, those that you those that don't know, I'm, uh, I'm back home, um, working with the little, uh, working back home with the guys here, um, yeah, so I'm back in Palmdale working. So that means I stuck the 21s back on the Audi. Looks a thousand times better. Um, been working every day, busting my butt, breaking my back, just to make ends meet over uh, over there. Um, we've been changing railroad ties, and uh, yeah, got the backhoe operator, then me. And then uh, uh, another guy. Uh, but anyway, the other guy, he's an older guy, so I don't expect much out of him. Um, he does work, though. Good guy. Um, but, uh, yeah, he can't, can't do as much as he used to. So, anyway, I end up having to pick up the slack, which I don't mind, but wears me out um yeah so just been coming home every day doing junk um brother-in-law gave me these boots for my kid size 11s dirt bike boots i gave him uh a treadmill we have that that air conditioning unit that's going in that that room i'll show you the room in a second this is the flooring uh, that's going in there. Rigid core flooring. Pre-attached underlayment. <clears throat> so it's kind of like uh, hardwood, but it's vinyl. I guess it's vinyl. Pet friendly, waterproof. Underlayment, 30 year residential warranty, stain resistant. Insulation location or installation. I guess it can go in basements, everywhere. <coughs> anyway, it's a locking flooring. And we got a bunch of, uh, whatever that crap is. Concrete, floating, floater, float stuff. Um, yeah. I can't breathe because uh, we've been changing ties and just the dirt and the dust. It's making me sick. Not really sick, but um, it blowing my nose like a thousand times a day. So anyway, here's the room. So we had shelves there, shelves there, and a shelving unit there. Um. Anyway, so yeah, we gotta float the floor. Um, basically, right here, these two pads. Are not level with those two pads so we're gonna have to put some of that float stuff down each bag does I don't know like 50 square feet at about a half an inch but anyway just got to get some more stuff out of here <sighs> um, that door is gonna go we're gonna get rid of that door and drywall it, change the windows. That door's gonna go, and we're gonna do a different door, new window. 
That AC unit thing's gonna go right here. And uh yeah, and basically it's just it's just gonna be in my kid's room, uh, cause his room's kinda small and he's big. Not uh, like husky big, he's just he's 20, 20 years old. So figure we'd do this and get him some space. Um he is paying for pretty much everything except for labor, except for my expertise and ward outness. Although he probably would pay for the labor to pay someone to do it, but I told him no. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Mega cab still. That's what I'm. It's my daily driver right now. I did go buy one of these electric vacuum pumps. It's a little straight edge thing. Basically, it's 50 inches. You clamp it onto a piece of wood and then you can run your circular saw down it like a straight edge. And then I bought some of these. I was trying to find standard but they didn't have any. So I had 20% off for this. It was like 80 it was 90 bucks originally. And then uh ended up being $71. And then this was 22 originally and got it for 14 15 bucks. Anyway. Loving, loving the uh, the uh, manual locking hubs I installed from Ram Man. Truck feels way better. So what I got to do today is I got to clean all this crap up. Um, I believe we're gonna do a fourth gen swap bumper on my brother-in-law's second gen. Um, anyway, I got to clean it all up because. I think uh, someone might be coming over, give me an estimate to change that box to something a little better. That's only a 100 amp breaker box. And uh, believe me, it's it's doing 100 amps. Like, not consistently, but it's, it's borderline, borderline threshold. Um, I sent him a picture of it, and he said it didn't, the wiring wasn't as bad as he was thinking, because I was telling him, you know, I got my compressor, I got our water heater, I got a lot of our crap that's on it, and he's thinking, he was thinking that the wiring was just hacked up in there, but he said it's not as bad as he thought it was going to be, because, you know, I looped, I ran the wire, tried to run stuff as clean as I can. So, I'm just checking the tractor because you can see through some JB Weld on that gas tank because that gas tank was cracked. Um, I put about two gallons in here yesterday. And, yep. Mm. Still holding, still holding fuel. <clears throat> so, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this to clean that area out. I'm just going to throw junk in the bucket. Throw junk in the bucket and then just move it um, wherever it needs to go. This. Uh, and uh, oh yeah I had that toolbox over here I gave it to my brother-in-law that Milwaukee toolbox <clears throat> and uh, yeah I still have to go through all that <clears throat> um, the wife is pretty sure pretty set that these chairs are trash now she said I didn't wrap them properly, but whatever. I think they were trash before we ever even bought them, but that's just me. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, so the other side of this wall 
basically I'm gonna be taking like this wood this wood slats and these wood slats here and I think I told you guys already but I'm gonna close this <coughs> I'm gonna close this off over here basically I'm gonna close that off close this off and uh, and uh, yeah that's gonna be my tool chainsaw all my tool crap's gonna go over there and then the tractor will go over there um, yeah I don't know when I'm gonna do that just yet um, I might get bored and do it today I don't know also this planer needs new blades thing cuts like a sandpaper <laughs> it's it's actually not that bad I screwed up um, and caused this big old gouge I was putting it in and then it went I put it in like this and uh, let me see so I put it in like this and it went and it caught and then spun because you're supposed to put it in with the guides I forgot they had guides <coughs> but I'm gonna make it end up making a table um, something that is gonna go in this whole thing that's gonna be completely flat and smooth um, because these these things are kind of spring-loaded and so when you actually put it in there it pushes it down and then when it comes out it does whatever it wants to do so I'm gonna end up making an actual table for it um, and this and the table saw will be in that little uh, shop area <coughs> anyway um, I did find another Yanmar tractor online that I might go pick up. It wants 300 bucks for it. It is definitely not complete. It has the transmission, basically all of this in the back. No seats, no fenders, wheels and tires. It has, it has steering, this, no gas tank. It has the block. But nothing, it's gutted. No crank, no cylinder, no pistons, nothing. No front axle, nothing. Um, I think I'm going to go pick that up. He wants 300 bucks for it. Um, uh, a co-worker of mine is using my trailer. So I'll see on Monday. When he brings me my trailer, Monday or Tuesday. If he uh, brings me my trailer, I might actually just go pick it up it would be on the way to the tractor so we do have this thing pretty full got a lock for it brother-in-law gave me a lock so anyway just gonna uh oh that's all the carpet that came out of that room just too much crap going on to try to film so this is all the carpet that came out of that room. <clears throat> it was kind of just pieced together carpet. And, uh, yeah. Um, we just used that as like a little hobby room, hobby craft room, you know, 3D printing stuff and wife sewing machine stuff. <clears throat> so, anyway, I'm gonna get busy. I'm gonna start moving some scrap. Um, I'm gonna wait till about 8:30, and then I'll start moving scrap. I think it's only seven something. Eight o'clock. It'll eat. So I'm gonna wait a little bit and then uh, fire up the tractor and start moving steel over there. So anyway, I'm gonna go upload this video before I start doing that. See you guys on the next video. Thanks for watching. Subscribe. Comment. Later.